हेलो माय डियर सीरियस स्टूडेंट हेयर इज योर फेवरेट दुर्गा शंकर सर होप यू हैव एंजॉयड योर रिसेंटली उत्तरायण नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर स्टडी टुडे लेसन स्टैंडर्ड एट एन सी आर टी साइंस चैप्टर फोर्टीन पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी टू वन एट्टी थ्री केमिकल एफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट राइट एंड होप यू आर रेडी विथ योर टेक्स्ट बुक इफ यू आर नॉट पॉज द वीडियो एंड गेट रेडी विथ योर टेक्स्ट बुक दिस इज द चैप्टर फोर्टीन ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन दिस टॉपिक टूडे द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द chapter it is uh, taught about or discuss about poor conductor and good conductor here is an experiment done this is a battery battery has two terminals positive terminal negative terminal these two terminals are connected with conducting wire one bulb is there in between and to end of the wire is connected with metallic part of a tester you have seen the tester and non metallic part that may be uh, made up of wood or made up of plastic when two ends of the uh, wire conducting wire is uh, connected with metallic part of the tester the bulb was on it shows that metallic part is a good conductor electricity is passing through the metallic part of the tester now if i do little change of the connection if i uh, remove this con uh, connection from metallic part and do the connection with the non metallic part mean with the plastic part or wooden part then i'll see i can see the bulb is off it is not on bulb is off see this i have indicated bulb is off that it shows that electricity is not passing through the plastic or wood so it is a poor conductor so what we can conclude that all the materials do not allow electricity to pass through it the metals normally metal allow electricity to pass through so they are all good conductor and normally non metals plastics and all rubber paper they are poor conductor they don't allow electricity to pass through now these are all solid substance what about the liquid substance liquid substance also allow or don't allow the electricity let us do some experiment i have taken two pots here now suppose i i Level the pot with the pot A and pot B, and I have taken different kind of solution. One pot A, one time tap water, acid water, salt water, base water means soap water, and lemon juice. And pot B, I have taken distilled water means. the med uh, the doctors or nurses they are using and in the laboratory chemical laboratory they are using pure water pure water distilled water laboratory made water that is distilled water oil any edible oil then mustard oil groundnut oil uh, cashew nut oil any any kind of oil olive oil okay and uh, the oil and petrol or diesel or kerosene or sugar 
solution water with sugar now when i connect disconnect this wire from here now once i take once i take one wire here and one wire here then i can see the bulb is on bulb is on of course one thing i must say you for the uh, liquid one battery or one cell is not enough we have to add so many batteries because it need good strength of current to put the bulb on because bulb has a filament of course the you people men cannot see this bulb at present because bulb is not in use at present it is available led led over bulb has one plus point led can be on with a very weak current so let us replace the bulb with led we replace the bulb with led led is a led you might have seen nowadays uh, all uh, series we are using and led bulb at home we are using the led need very less current so led will be looking like this led will be looking like this it is uh, like this looking like this one has one has small end another has big end big end is positive small end is negative if you put led then one uh, shell is enough okay also with the help of led also we can see whether it is good conductor or bad conductor we can make this electric circuit this is called electric circuit battery wire and one bulb is called tester t s t e r tester means we are testing whether conductor or bad conductor or good conductor we are testing that that say it is called tester so with the help of tester now this is we can call is led tester previously it was bulb tester bulb nowadays is not available so we can put led led has advantage it is led works even in a weak current and so led it is very useful now we uh, with the help of led we make it a led circuit and uh, taking one from positive end one wire from negative end and on another wire and putting in uh, level a liquid that is the liquid containing tap water or acid water or salt water or base water or alkaline water or soap water and lemon juice either one not all together either one and we can see led is on in all the cases but in the second time if we remove this connection take this connection and put into the level b part level b part is a part of distilled water or oil or petrol or diesel or kerosene or sugar solution we can see led is remaining off only it is not on led is not glowing in this cases so these solutions are not allowing electricity to pass through so we can call this all solutions are poor conductor is it clear beta now uh, so these testers are very useful to find out 
some solid substance or liquid substance are good conductor or bad conductor allowing electricity to pass through it or not allowing the electricity to pass through it whether it is solid substance whether it is liquid substance the testing method will be same and this this circuit this arrangement is called tester this arrangement is called tester t e s t e r tester so we have seen two kind of tester one is bulb tester now it is led tester but there can be another kind of tester suppose bulb or led is not available now we can put instead of bulb or led we can put one magnetic compass magnetic compass means we can uh, use some magnetic compass magnetic compass means suppose i take a match box take a match box and inside the match box i put a needle compass needle compass you might have seen magnetic compass it always uh, oriented at north south condition and if i wrap some wire some wire over it okay a wire over it whenever electricity is passing this uh, compass magnetic compass will deflect from north south it will deflect to east west okay if it is a good conductor if it is a good conductor then only deflection will be shown if it is a bad conductor no deflection so even a weak current can be detected with the help of a magnetic compass so this we can call magnetic compass or compass tester or magnetic tester so tester we get three kind of tester bulb tester led tester magnetic tester so anyhow our purpose whatever may be the tester our purpose to find out some substance solid or liquid are good conductor or bad conductor so this we have concluded who are all good conductor and who are all bad conductor now today's chapter is actually different we are interested to see the chemical effect of electric current so what is electric effect of electric current elect effect means some changes effect means some changes suppose if we pass electricity inside a bulb the bulb glow so change in the change is seen in bulb previously bulb was not emitting light now the bulb is emitting light so there is a change in bulb but if you switch up the current the bulb will come to its original condition so this is a temporary this is a temporary effect suppose we are passing electricity to a bread toaster or heater or immersion heater or hair dryer you can see some heating effect some heat is produced but if you switch off the current again that original condition will come so that change also temporary change if you put the electricity into some buzzer or into some horn or into some uh, mic boxes you can see the sound is produced but if you switch up sound also will be off and magnetic effect here in this compass when we are passing electricity it is deflecting this also magnetic effect so heating effect sound effect light effect magnetic effect all the effect are temporary effect mean it is the uh, the effect is seen when electricity is passed 
and when electricity is take off that uh, effect is also vanish and uh, it, uh, the object is coming to its original condition so it is all temporary effect temporary effect are called physical effect but there are some effects is a permanent effect even though even though we take the electricity off we cannot get the original one at the moment here we are getting at the moment bulb is on electricity on bulb giving light electricity off bulb coming to original position at the moment we are getting the original position original object back on the spot but in the chemical effect we cannot get the object or material on the spot original so this is a permanent effect chemical effect is a permanent effect now this uh, chemical effect can be explained with this uh, diagram in your textbook you can see here uh, before going to chemical effect let us uh, introduce your book textbook this is this is the poor conductor bad conductor good conductor and poor conductor this experiment and this is this experiment with uh, liquid lemon juice and this is the led bulb okay and this is the magnetic tester with the help of magnetic tester this is the list of good conductor or bad conductor liquid okay and this is the uh, diagram of the chemical effect of electric current now let us discuss with this diagram of chemical effect of electric current now to study the chemical effect of electric current we take a container the container should be of bad conductor or either of plastic or glass or ceramic now take some water and add a small amount of either salt or acid or base either one and take uh, two rod that may be carbon rod from old battery old cell or iron nail two rod these rods are called this rod as called electrode e l e c t r o d e electrode they are called electrodes and these electrodes we emerge inside the solution first we have to notice that the top portion where we are joined the conducting wire that should be out of the water number 1 number 2 these two electrodes should not get touch to each other anyhow they should be apart from each other now if we are connect this two end of the electrode wire with the positive and negative end of battery battery means the combination of cell one cell one is called cell and number of cell combined together for getting more current called battery the so battery this is the symbol positive pen is a bigger uh, line vertical line and negative end smaller vertical line this negative end small vertical line positive end big vertical line clear beta now this is plus and this is minus here 3 1 2 3 3 cell combined together so i call it is a battery so this is the arrangement to check the to see the chemical effect of electric current now chemical effect uh, what and if we allow electricity to pass through this arrangement what we can see after some time some gas bubbles some gas bubbles is produced and they are gathering around the electrodes some gas bubbles are produced 
and they are gathering around the electrode. Okay, some chemical change going on. And if you switch off, if you disconnect the circuit, then also the gas bubbles will not vanish. They will be there only, permanently. They are produced and the gas bubbles will slowly come up like that. Means the solution will not come to its original position. Whatever the changes taken place, took place, that will be permanently taken place. This is a chemical effect. We can see another chemical effect. So one chemical effect, gas bubbles are produced. One chemical effect. Another chemical effect, that chemical effect is very useful industrially and domestically and economically. This uh, chemical effect is very widely used. This has given a special name, electroplating. For electroplating, your, uh, in your, let us see in your textbook where it is shown. This is the electroplating portion. Okay, this is the page number one. 79 electroplating this is the diagram electroplating and these are the object where electroplating is done handle of handle of the cycle okay and a rim of the wheel this is the rim of the wheel and many uh, other objects are done to give a sign or to protect from rusting electroplating is done and how the electroplating is done? Here, two copper plates are taken. This is a copper plate. Okay. These are two copper plates. And here, a water, water plus copper, copper sulfate. Copper sulfate solution. Water plus copper sulfate solution. Here it is taken. Water plus copper sulfate solution. And two copper plates are taken. These two copper plates are connected with battery. Uh, here I explain what is battery. One to the positive end, another to negative end. And what we can observe, positive end copper plate becoming a little bit thinner and thinner. That means that it is losing the copper. And the negative end copper plate, it becoming thicker and thicker, means they are gathering copper. See, it is gathering copper. So, if we take instead of here, instead of copper plate, if we take uh, suppose, suppose iron nail or any other material, then also copper will get deposited on it. That depositing of another metal to another substance is called electroplating. This is the definition of the process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by the means of electricity is called electroplating. Okay, so this is how electroplating is done. Now, if we do electroplating of zinc, electroplating of zinc, electroplating of zinc on iron, zinc on iron, because iron uh, is a cheap metal. Okay, iron is a cheap metal, but it gets corroded very easily. Okay, it do uh, reactive and get corroded with, uh, very easily. So, uh, we have to protect the iron. Cheap, but we have to protect it. So, we are giving a electroplating of zinc over iron. So, iron is protected from rusting. And this method is called G-A-L-V-A-N-I. S A T I O N galvan galvanization and this iron is called galvanized iron. You might have seen 
galvanized iron. You must have heard about galvanized iron. So this galvanized iron means the iron is electroplated with zinc. So this is called galvanized iron. And you might have uh, heard some uh, uh, false uh, gold or false ornament, false uh, silver ornament, means rolled gold, uh, city gold, like that, this word you have seen, uh, heard. This uh, uh, gold uh, ornaments are cheap, rather cheap, they are made up of cheap material, cheap metal, and they are electroplated with gold or silver. They do look like a gold, look like silver. Okay, it gives better look. So these are the this uh, the chemical effect of electric current. Chemical effect of electric current mainly uh, they are producing bubbles. They are have, have very little use, but uh, depositing some metal on another metal, desired metal on another metal, is called electroplating. It has very good use, okay? And uh, hope this chapter is understood too by you and uh, it is uh, uh, revise the, this video once and again and it will be clear. And if it is very useful, like it and share with your friend. Thank you for watching.